rad, it's chilly. After 28 hours of travel, we finally made it to Patagonia, Argentina. Hola. Hola. <laughs> it's about 32 degrees right now. Perfect sunset, killer lighting. And damn, I'm excited to play some snow volleyball. <laughs> So, I was walking down the stairs of the airport and my whole carry-on, this is the handle of my carry-on, and it broke. Jesus. It's shambles. This is not going well. So we're not off to a great start. On the pamphlet, they said we were supposed to leave at 9.30. The bus left at 9, so Troy and I missed the bus. It was so embarrassing. And I forgot all the gloves in our room, so it was especially late. It was a fiasco to wake up to. We brought down for breakfast, and I'm like, oh, do I have time for breakfast? Like, no, we just called you on the phone. You guys, the bus left five minutes ago. I'm like, what? How are we doing? Good morning. We're sitting here, day one, we have Chile, first match. Second match, we have Argentina, three. And then... We have China, first match. What? No, no, no it's okay. Chile. Oh, Thanks. maybe I read... Oh, okay, I read it wrong. <laughs> it's Chile. C8. China's playing right now. I have it on here. Oh, gotcha. The difference between this one and last one is we're a lot more calm. Last one at breakfast on the day of the qualifier, Riley was looking at me like, dude, what if we don't qualify? He's nervous. Like, didn't really eat, didn't really talk to me at breakfast. So, let me explain. My strategy was keep expectations super low so then we can be all pleasantly surprised if we do qualify. Last thing you want to do is go in overconfident and then be severely disappointed. So I employed that strategy. It turned out to be a very happy strategy. So I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, we saw all the teams earlier yesterday and this morning. I talked to a few of them. A lot of them haven't even played before, so we have a huge advantage in that sense because we've already played in two tournaments. Um, our fellow ladies team over here, this is their fourth tournament. They played in Russia, they played in Walgreen, they played in Kronplatz, and now they're here for the first tournament ever in South America. Gracias. Placer. Thank you. No. Muchas gracias. All right, so we just got done playing Argentina's third team. Yeah. yeah. Although they were really good. There's so one good. guy who had this jump serve that would just curve to the corner, right. short corner. And Jameson it, was in there when he first whipped it out. I was he able got to... both of them. <laughs> yeah. And then the first time he served me, I got ace. Yeah. I was like, yeah, Jameson did it. Like, <laughs> yeah. A lot of like crazy little digs. Riley had this one crazy like oh, over yeah. on one like. Yeah. Yeah. It was, was like, like scooting over just like, like this and just hit my hand. Like, no, I think it was, I think it was one hand. Yeah. No, it just hit my right hand. Oh, just, oh your right hand? Could have, could have easily broken my hand, but instead it was just a perfect dig. One kill. of your three kills. This is what yeah. gloves help you with. All right, Jameson. Highlight from the match. Probably uh, the going over on two, the behind my back. Oh, that was good. Set. Wait, that was in the first match. Yeah. Wait, you won both the first set and the third set. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Jameson! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh,
Jameson hitting a thousand right now? Yeah. Is it hitting a thousand? I only got set twice. I'm hitting a thousand. So many. Uh, sorry, sorry, Troy. Troy, what was your high? What were? What are your highlights? <laughs> yeah. Did I say that right? You know what? Let's go ahead and run it back, just like our last videos. We're gonna show some highlights from our game, basically right. all of Troy. <laughs> yeah. So we were supposed to have three matches today. Our first match was against Chile. Second match was against Argentina, and then we we're supposed to play Cameroon, but Cameroon didn't make it down the Patagonia. Yeah. Something happened about their flights. They either missed their flight or just straight up didn't make it here. So we're free for the rest of the day. Uh, what should we do? Take your uh, shirt off too. No, not that. We'll for sure get kicked out. I'm not, I'm not dancing. <laughs> I'm singing. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. I don't know what he's doing, but. So we missed the bus once again, but we took a little taxi ride in the, in the giant van with our friend, I forget his name. He also gave us a recommendation for a restaurant that we're going to right now. It's called Alberto's. It's about 150 meters up to the left, a la izquierda. Okay, so we saw this giant line. We're like, oh great, everyone's waiting in line for this. For, it's gonna be like an hour long wait. But no one eats dinner until eight o'clock. No one's, the restaurant hasn't opened yet. It's eight o'clock. This is Argentina, they eat meat. We showed up here at 7.50. This place opens at 8 o'clock. It has over 4,000 reviews on Yelp, four and a half stars, 7,000 reviews on TripAdvisor, and we just so happen to fall upon this place. We need. We need. I showed him our, our key card because he doesn't know uh, where we're going, and I don't know how to pronounce it. Two of the tournament. We are here in Bariloche. It is freezing. But this morning, we're waiting for Uruguay and China to play against one another. And we have the winner of that in the quarterfinals. It's gonna be interesting because both teams are actually pretty good. And we're gonna watch that pigtail match to prepare for our match. Right on. Okay, out of system to bump juice from the back line. Let's see what can happen. Oh, oh out surf. Did he touch it? Did he touch it? Everybody's trembling. It's an out ball. No, it's out. China takes the lead. I can go up there and switch it for you. Oh, another monster block. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is 16 16. <laughs> Third and final day of snow volleyball here in Bariloche, Argentina. In about an hour and a half, we play against Argentina's number one team in the semifinal. If we win that, we play the winner of Argentina 2 and Russia. Against the USA. There's no bias in this commentary box, but the US's <laughs> Phil Bush is alongside me. Oh, what a block. One of the best blocks we've seen all weekend. Simply maybe the maybe the, the best hitter of the Argentinians as well that I've seen. That's it, USA are into the final. Argentina won well beaten here. They've met their match in this semi-final and the USA, as we expected, march on and they will compete for gold this afternoon. Argentinian team. I don't even know where they're going because they can bring him out. Hey guys. Este bastardo. No, no, no. <laughs> We're a solid team. It's a tough one to go. We had high hopes. This one hurt yeah. deep in the heart. Right? Yeah, I was on the sideline. I didn't even play, but that one hurt. This one hurt. Yeah. In my opinion, I thought like we had it. And they just were the better team. But the, the good part is that they're not a bunch of dickheads. They're cool guys. They hooked us up with a bunch of beers, so I like them. Which makes, which makes the wound a little less deep. We're still coming home with hardware, which is a plus. Unfortunately, Argentina. Oh, 